slithering around for many countless years. Snakes are so old that they existed when dinosaurs roamed the earth. Whether you're keen on them or fear them, they're fascinating in their own right. It's only the venomous snakes that pique people's curiosity, if they'll be terrifying or not. But have you noticed that venom isn't one size fits all? There are literally different types of venom, and a few people even drink it. Welcome to Animals Wow TV. In today's video, I'll show you some incredible facts about snake venom. And when I say incredible, I'm sure you'll be amazed. So sit back and relax, and grab a glass of wine as we start the video. According to the World Health Organization, they identify snake bites as an urgent public health issue that's been ignored by many. About 2.7 million people are poisoned every year, and out of that number, 81,000 to 138,000 die from snake bites. Snake venom is essentially a special and evolved saliva that contains toxins. These toxins are part of three major groups, with a range of proteins and enzymes that help fix and even digest prey. Poison may be used as a final resort. Of the 3,000 species of snakes within the world, only about 600 are known to be toxic. And their venom is almost entirely, about 90 to 95%, composed of protein. Wait, 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 wait. Put the snake down. I didn't say it might be completely safe. But the main question is, how does the venom work? All right, let me explain. Say, for example, Drinking a trial of venom may not provide you with the identical painful results as pouring it on your open wound, but it wouldn't be harmless. Some could still make its way through your gastrointestinal system and into your bloodstream. The ability of blood to clot is impaired. Things can fail there straight away. Remember that there are different types of snake venom? If you're ingesting a neurotoxic cobra or a mamba venom and stomach acid doesn't break it down altogether, the venom blocks or overstimulates the systema nervosum. This might result in reduced eye movement, droopy eyelids, and difficulty talking, swallowing, and breathing. If you drink enough of this venom to disrupt the chemical signal sent between your neurons, it might leave you paralyzed. If this venom made it into your bloodstream, it primarily impact your blood and your heart, or it could cause blood cells to lump together, causing blockages and cardiomyopathy. This sort of venom would be found in snakes like vipers, rattlesnakes, and more. Mycotoxins during this kind of venom can cause serious damage to muscle cells and cause necrosis. Elevated blood potassium levels can cause the center to prevent. If this venom made it into your bloodstream, it primarily impact your blood and heart. This might cause serious internal bleeding, or it could cause blood cells to lump together, causing blockages and coronary failure. This type of venom, again, could be found in snakes like vipers and rattlesnakes and more. Mycotoxins present during this variety of venom could significantly damage your muscle cells or cause necrosis. You'd be having a painful experience because the membranes of your muscle cells dissolve. To make matters even worse, toxic proteins from the venom leak into the urine and cause long-term damage to the kidneys. Your heart will lose its normal rhythm. When the potassium level in the blood rises, the heart may prevent potassium. Finally, if cytotoxic venom from your cobra spice drink got into your bloodstream, it might cause the premature death of cells in your tissues. Part of your tissues could become liquefied. Cobras are a typical example of snakes with cytotoxic venom. All of those are devastating effects that poison can wear on your body. However, ingestion of toxicants may play a job within the development of human-derived antidotes. Now, can snakes run out of poison? Yes and no. Poison glands can always consistently produce poison. In other words, the snake never actually disappears. However, it takes time and energy for the glands to supply poison. Therefore, a sip of all the snake-generated poison will essentially leak, except for a brief time. But what about drinking a snake's venom from straight out of a glass? Given the fact that just one bite from a venomous snake could kill you. While it's going to be theoretically possible to drink venom and live to tell the tale, there's still a few risks related to such actions. Let's delve a little deeper, see if we can find an answer as to whether you'll be able to drink venom 
and still survive. So going by the fact, you may be safe if you drink venom. Overall, drinking venom, honestly in my opinion, isn't such a great idea. Although it should theoretically be harmless inside your stomach, it's simply not part of your diet, so if you're having any such thoughts, I'd say just chuck it. Snake wine is taken into account by many to be a miracle cure-all, but how exactly is that cure made? It's probably safe to say that almost all people don't like snakes. In fact, over half of Americans claim that snakes are their biggest fear, and that's over speaking in public, flying, and injections combined. And that's just when the snakes are on the bottom, going about their daily lives. Are you able to imagine what these people would do if the snakes were in their food, or worse, their liquor? For those unwilling to really ingest the snake itself, there's a neater and maybe less direct method of imbibing a snake's magical properties, snake wine. A snake sits in a bottle holding another snake in its jaws. Visitors to most Southeastern Asian countries will notice the delicacy instantly. A snake, coiled or posed as if about to strike, nestled neatly inside a glass bottle full of alcohol, ginseng, and wolfberries. Snake wine is created with a live snake. Usually, the snake gets some company, as smaller insects or sometimes other snakes are added moreover. The thought behind the wine is that the alcohol dilutes and breaks down the snake's venom while preserving the medicinal essence of the snake's meat. After fermenting for several months, the wine is prepared. The wine is supposed to be consumed in small amounts, roughly an ounce or two at the time, as needed. The wine is sometimes sold in touristy areas of Asia, like roadside stalls and farmer's markets, usually months after the bottling has occurred. The bottles that contain the stereotypical hooded cobras, tiny lizards, or scorpions are usually sold by salesmen hoping to feature some shock value to their work and appeal to tourists trying to find a center. After learning about snake wine, try the venomous snake that was rediscovered after experts thought it absolutely was extinct. If you were bitten by a toxic snake, the venom would travel from the fangs and into your bloodstream within seconds. You'd have an occasional chance of survival. How it might go down depends on the sort of venom, but let me come back to it in an exceeding moment. Snake bites may be dangerous, but if you made the choice to drink the venom, the story would take a special turn. Alright, that's it for today guys. Would you try this snake wine? Be sure to write it in the comment section down below. Don't forget to smash that like button. See you in the next video. And don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching and take care.